OK, I asked a great question on one of the course lessons on uh, neutral thoughts. So the course lesson roughly goes that uh, if you have a thought about something to say that is not a neutral thought about this or that or something along those lines. Um, the thing with the course lesson, course lessons is uh, as you do them, you're asking for the Holy Spirit to um, to come in and create a miracle, or if you like, a shift in perception uh, in recognizing what's the meaning behind uh, behind uh, the course lesson. So, if I was just to, if I spend the whole day saying my thought that uh, this this uh, my thought about this donut is neutral and my thought about this uh, financial issue is neutral. Uh, is uh, Sorry, it's not a neutral thought. Then um, as you do that, then it comes into awareness that um, the thinkingness, eventually it comes into awareness that the thinkingness which originates out from a self-centered place uh, cannot be neutral because when thoughts arise with interest, investment, or attachment, or meaning from a located self-centered aspect and are interpreted through the self-centered aspect, then they're not going to be neutral because they're, they're being identified with through programming and through meaning, which is the whole basis of the ego. So, you know, so all thoughts which, uh, which exist while there's still some semblance of ego remaining, i.e. Some, some sense of being a self-centered individual remaining, they're not going to be neutral thoughts. They're going to be imbued with the, the meaning that the uh, ego projects onto, onto that, unless they're 100% dissolved into meaningless. So um, I believe the, uh, the, this is not a neutral thought, it's one of the early lessons. So it's just showing that everything that the ego is trying to think about is projected with past history. And so is going to have that tinge of coming out of an energy field of a self-centered uh, level. Uh, so, but, you know, some of the courses, um, when you, it's really, when one do, is doing the course, it's an intention to be, uh, to let go and to be free. And so some of the lessons, as you do them, as, you be, as one's own inner level of consciousness um, increases, then the meaning of each course lesson is seen from a different light. Um, and the nature of self-centeredness and the levels of consciousness is, is discerned. Okay, let me stop the recording.